Welcome to ITDV4200 Advanced Database Techniques. Today's revision, you may download our Activity 7 from your e-learning. And we're going to be performing 12 tasks. Assuming that you'll be having your credentials from our Oracle Apex workspace. First, let's perform task 1, creation of a schema using the object browser. And create the schema for the given table structure below. So we'll be having four tables. And we'll start with the table customer. Head on to your SQL workshop. Object browser. And let's create a new table. And let's name your table 111 customer underscore customer. First field will be cost. ID. This will be a number. Cost name. Bar chart two. Size of thirty. And cost mobile. Will be data type number. So we'll be having a constraint from cost ID. It's a primary key. And all of all the rest would be not now. Click next. Right. Populate it from new sequence. And our primary key will be cost underscore ID. Click next. Okay. Click next. And click next. Then create the table. Okay. Table 111 underscore customer is already created. Next, let's perform table for product underscore type. Second. We can create a second table. Let's name this table 111 product underscore type. Column name will be pod type underscore ID. This will be a number. Next would be type name. And this would be a bar chart 2, size of 30. Okay, this would be not now. Click next. Populate it from a new sequence. Primary key select prod underscore type underscore ID. Click next. Okay, same from the customer table. We don't have yet references for foreign keys. And other constraints. So click next and you may complete the table by creating a table. Now let's create a table for product. So you may see the product type underscore ID having a references. Okay, let's start working with third table. Create a new table and let's name this one as 111 product. And the fields names are pod ID. This would be a number. Next is pod name. Bar chart 2. Size would be 30. Pod underscore type underscore ID. This would be a number. Prod price this would be a number. Prod delivery I'll deliver underscore date. This would be a date. 
and that would be available. This would be bar chart two, size stem. So we're having constraints on font name, not now, not now for your font type ID, not now for your price. And later we'll apply check constraint and the primary key from add on. Click next. Select from a new sequence and select for your pod ID as your primary key. And this time we're going to be working with the reference from your pod type ID field reference for your pod type table. So we can select for prod type ID and reference table would be prod type and of course with the primary key of prod type underscore ID. We can add this one. We can click add this constraint with the name and this one 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 underscore product underscore warranty and I may write this one as okay pod type okay all right and then add okay now current key is added now click next okay now we have one constraint for available we check yes or no okay we can click check constraint type and type the column available which is equal to yes or no we can make available check This will be available equals to single quote yes or available equals to single quote no. Right. So we'll select for the key column and this would be the name of that constraint. Check one for available. Can click add for this and now check constraints added and now click next now click the table and the table product is created so we still have two last two table now let's create transaction okay so how many tables we have created customer product and product type so we have one more left which is transaction table okay, let's create another one for the table transaction okay, let's name this one 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 underscore transaction and the fields are trans ID this would be number trans date this would be a date cost ID this would be a number pod ID this would be a number and quantity would be a number right okay trans ID later will be a primary key trans day customer ID will be not now not now as well for product ID and later we will create for both references for the expected tables and quantity is with a check constraint click next and let's select populate from new sequence 
and select the trans underscore ID. Click next, and this time we're going to create first for a cost ID as a foreign key. Right. And let me select customer reference to this field. Now click add. And the foreign key strain will be added. Next, I'll name this one as prod. Okay. This will be reference to product table. And of course, to the primary key. And add this once again. And two foreign keys added. Now click next. And this time we're going to be working with the check constraints for quantity. Okay. Select the check, select the key column quantity, and then check condition will be quantity. Okay, not or not equal, not equal to zero. So click add and constraints added and click next create the table. Okay, this time we have created our four tables. We may check the model. And you can see the relationship transaction is the relationship for product table and customer, um, product type, and relationship from your product, and uh, for customer. And you can also see all the constraint names as well, which already added, respectively. Each definition of your table will be mentioned, and at the moment we don't have yet data. Right. Triggers are auto default was created during the time that you're creating your table so we have a before insert which is before each row is inserted considered to be enabled okay now we'll continue for the next task too in the next video thank you